Last night was quite a night. Chad and I ran outside at 1.30 this morning, tied our trampoline to a tree, we put all of our patio furniture in the garage, and we picked peaches. I think Chad is going to be very excited when he finds out I'm making peach pie this morning. The recipe is in the Griffiths Family Cookbook, and I am going to use the same recipe the same filling that I use for my peach cobbler, I am going to use for the filling in the pies. I'm going to show you the pie crust recipe as well. It's just easier for me to show you this than it is to try and write it all out. I'll walk through the steps with you, but there's the ingredients, and we're gonna do two of them today. I want to do one using the shortening, the Crisco, and I'm going to do another pie, and I'm going to use all butter and it's been years and years and years since I've done a pie using all butter and we'll see how it turns out. I am making two pies but I'm not going to double the recipe. I'm just going to add extra peaches to it so I'm sure that if I add some extra peaches to it I'll have plenty to fill two pie shells and that's the only thing that I'm going to double on it is just adding more peaches. For the peach pie filling, we're going to start with one cup of sugar and two big tablespoons of cornstarch. In fact, I'm going to put an extra one in because I've got some extra peaches that are going in there and I want to make sure that this is thick enough. And then if you like cinnamon, and I, who doesn't, I'm going to put in two teaspoons of cinnamon. And then I'm going to mix this cornstarch and sugar together because I find that if I don't, it is lumpy. Next, I'm going to add my cut up peaches and there are a dozen of them here. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of real lemon juice. And if you know me, I have to add a little almond. That is the secret ingredient right there. Then just turn up the stove. Mix all of this together. And you want to bring this mixture to a boil and just boil it for just a minute. It doesn't have to boil a long time, but you want to make sure it's come to a pretty good boil and you can see it thickening. And right now it just almost looks ready to just sit. It'll it'll thicken more even as it starts to cool off. Well, you're gonna cook it in the pie first. But um, we're going to leave it sitting here on the stove while we go make our pie crust. So I think that that looks pretty darn good. And we're just going to turn off the heat and let it sit here while we make our crust. All right, so I have tidied up my sink area and we are ready to move on to the pie crust. I've decided what we're going to do is we're going to start with the shortening first, the Crisco, and I'll put it in this pie plate because it's white and we'll remember that that was that and we'll do this one next but I'm only going to do one at a time so I'm just going to push this to the side and we're going to concentrate on one at a time and that is one cup of shortening. Now add two cups of flour. And a teaspoon of salt. I never used to use one of these. My kids bought it for me about 15 years ago and I am hooked on it. I love it. I used to always just use a fork, but these are great. And then just cut all of the shortening into the flour until it's just a little oh, crumbly. 
Now that you've got that all crumbly, you want to add a half a cup of cold water and make sure it's cold. And I'm only going to add a little at a time. Okay, so the flour has all been mixed in and I can actually take my hands with this now and make a ball out of it. And I will tell you that the less you touch it, the better. So just quickly get it gathered up together. And make a little ball. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to put some flour on my counter. And I'm just going to roll it out. Now I'm going to go get my pie filling and I'll fill this pie. It's been cooling on the stove and it looks nice and thick. And I'll put half of that mixture in here or enough to just fill it up. I think we've got plenty for two pies. There are several ways that you can finish this pie off. I'm going to do um, some egg whites on top of this one. And the next pie that we make, I'm going to put some milk or some cream on the top. And while my fingers are wet, I grab a little bit of sugar and I put it on like this because it when my fingers are wet, it causes the sugar to have little clumps, and I think the little clumps are kind of cute. I forgot I didn't turn my oven on to preheat. You need to turn the oven on 375 degrees. This part is the funnest part to be able to decorate the top of my pie and leave my signature. And everybody needs to have their own signature. Some people like to draw fruit. I like to make chicken walk across my pies or sometimes it looks like wheat. Whatever it looks like to you, that's what it is. Chicken, feet, or wheat. All right, we're going to make this one more time. Only this time we're going to use, I hate that when that happens. I shake my hand. I'm editing my videos and I'm like, what? the heck who's that old lady and this time we're going to use butter I'm going to be putting in one cup of butter and I know that because each one of these is a half a cup maybe it needs to be a little bit softer I don't want to make it too soft of a butter because I the pie crust will not be flaky if it's warm too warm and so I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit more with my knife it's starting to crumble up now I think it's gonna work just fine so far so good
Now, instead of putting the egg white on like I did last time, I'm just going to put a little, this, we always called this morning milk when we were growing up. It's just some evaporated milk. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that across the top. And you don't have to put anything on it, really. But we're just experimenting today. We could put this, we could put regular milk. But I thought this might look kind of pretty on there. I didn't have any half and half. I like to put just cream, but I didn't have it. So I thought, well, let's see if this will work. So again, we're doing the fun part. That is my chicken feet. My kids love, well, I think they love, they're always telling me how much they like my chicken feet. Pies are not hard to do. I don't know who decided to make that rumor up that pies were hard to make. They're not. And the other thing, don't compare your pies to anyone else's because you be proud of your pie. The, you put your love and heart into making that, that pie and it's going to be good and people are going to appreciate it and if they don't, then shame on them. Don't make them another pie. So 375 degrees for I'm going to check it in 50 minutes. It takes between 50 minutes and an hour to cook. I'll come back and check it. And I will hope that it doesn't flow over and make a mess in my oven. I can't wait to have a piece of pie. I am so hungry. You've been smelling it all day. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Look at Scruffy Grandpa. The oh, kids yeah. are going to say, Grandpa, do you ever shave? Yeah, yeah, every other day. Oh, dear. Or three. No, you don't. Flaky crust, peachy, cinnamony. Okay. Cinnamon. In. Now take a bite of this one. I don't know what the difference is. I mean, they taste the same. <laughs> What have I missed? You haven't missed anything, Chad. He thinks that they both taste the same. You liked them both? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this pie was made with butter and this pie over here was made with shortening. Crisco. Crisco. Okay. No, I, I thought they tasted both the same. Well, that makes me so happy. And can now I, I can bite? tell you with confidence that you can use butter or shortening. A lot of you, especially over in England, are telling me what is, what is shortening? What is Crisco? You can use either one, shortening or butter, and it's going to be delicious. And I just, it's been a long day. We've picked up a lot of branches outside. The wind's been blowing. The wind is still blowing. A uh, wish us luck tonight. We've got a big old pine tree outside that thinks it wants to tip over. So we're going to close the vlog here and tell you thank you. And we will see you again in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.